Tomato Compact Part One and Two, Actual Test Four, Listening Test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately forty-five minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in the test book. Part One. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet. And mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book, and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now listen to the four statements. A. They're working on the road. B. They're talking in a group. C. They're standing on the street. D. They're all wearing glasses. Statement B. They're talking in a group. Is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer B and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. They're dancing together. B. They're sharing a drink. C. They're exchanging gifts. D, they are shaking hands. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A, the people are having a picnic. B, the people are dining at a restaurant. C, the people are clearing away the plates. D, the people are about to order their lunch. Go on to the next page. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. The fish have been spread out on the dock. B. There is a small village beyond the water. C. All the boats have been turned upside down. D. The lake is full of small fishing boats. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. The shoppers are waiting to pay for their goods. B. Baskets have been stacked next to the merchandise. C. Boxes of candy are being organized by a clerk. D. People are pushing shopping carts through the aisles. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A, the man is boarding the airplane. B, the man is opening his briefcase. C, the man is collecting his luggage. D, the man is waiting at the check-in counter. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A, the road is undergoing maintenance. B, construction supplies are being delivered. C, the railroad tracks run across the street. D, a power line has fallen down. Go on to the next page. Number seven. Look at the picture marked number seven in your test book. A. People are enjoying a musical performance. B. Many people are dancing in the square. C. Musical instruments have been put on display. D. A parade is marching down the street. Number eight. Look at the picture marked number eight in your test book. A. The road is closed to all vehicles. B. 
The traffic has stopped at an intersection. C. Snow is being removed from the road. D. Most of the cars have their headlights on. Number 9. Look at the picture marked number 9 in your test book. A. They are applauding the speaker. B. They are moving the office equipment. C. They are seated around the table. D. They are making copies of a document. Number 10. Look at the picture marked number 10 in your test book. A. She's relaxing on a couch. B. She's picking up the newspaper. C. She's resting her head in her hands. D. She's cleaning off the furniture. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. For example, you will hear... Did you call the client today? You will also hear... A. Yes, it lasted all day. B. The phone is on my desk. C. Yes, but she wasn't in the office. The best response to the question, Did you call the client today? is choice C. Yes, but she wasn't in the office. So C is the correct answer. You should mark answer C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number 11. Number 11. Who wrote the memo? A. It came from the accounting office. B. I think you'll have to memorize it. C. On the company intranet. Number 12. Do you have to pay to park here? A. Yes, it's a lovely park. B. Yes, it's $2 an hour. C. No, please mail the payment. Number 13. May I take your jacket? A. No, thanks. I'm feeling cold. B. Yes, I'll take it. C. It's the wrong size. Number 14. Do you like the brown pants or the tan ones? A. The plants need to be watered. B. Yes, $10 cheaper. C. They're both a little tight. Number 15. Where is the meeting going to be held? A. At the downtown office. B. By car. C. In just a few minutes. Number 16. How often does the firm hire new workers? A. Yes, I can confirm that. B. Once every other month. C. Through an agency. Number 17. There's a very friendly atmosphere in the office. A. Yes, I've known him for a long time. B. That's why our employees perform so well. C. The office is at the end of the hall. Number 18. The electric bill seems awfully high this month. A. I thought so too. B. Isn't the drill broken? C. Maybe last month. Number 19. Has your employer changed healthcare providers? A. No, but it's going to happen next month. 
B. Yes, the doctor said I'm improving. C. Walker Realty Incorporated. Number 20. When will the copy machine be fixed? A. In the hallway. B. Let's make some more. C. By the end of the day. Number 21. Our boss gave a great speech, didn't he? A. Yes, I liked it. B. Miss Flanagan. C. I haven't spoken to him. Number 22. Why don't you move to a nicer apartment? A. Yes, that's my favorite part too. B. It's very heavy. C. No, I can't afford to right now. Number 23. Was the television ad received well? A. Yes, it was added. B. No, I lost the receipt. C. Yes, I think it was a big hit. Number 24. What would you say to taking the subway instead? A. Yes, I'll send it right away. B. That sounds fine. C. No, thank you. I don't need one. Number 25. Have the suppliers faxed us the bill, or are they going to do it later? A. We received it this morning. B. They'll fix it tomorrow. C. Yes, the supplies are here. Number 26. Am I supposed to interview the applicants? A. The entrance is around the corner. B. Do you mind? C. Yes, there's quite a view. Number 27. What product should we feature in this month's sale? A. One of the raincoats. B. It's a great deal. C. I've never sailed before. Number 28. Shouldn't we get to the restaurant before the dinner rush? A. No, let's eat out. B. Sorry, I don't have a menu. C. Yes, we better leave now. Number 29. Can you drive me to the airport tomorrow morning? A. Yes, I'd rather fly. B. That shouldn't be a problem. C. The fresh air is really great. Number 30. Would you mind filling in for Rick while he's on vacation? A. Really? How was it? B. I'll fill in the form during lunch. C. I don't know. I'm behind schedule already. Number 31. Which class are you taking at the community college? A. Don't drop it or it'll break. B. An introduction to computer science. C. It's located on Monson Boulevard. Number 32. How about going to the coffee shop on 1st Street? A. No, I'll take the third one. B. I usually go shopping there. C. I don't like the service there. Number 33. Is there a vacant office on the fourth floor? A. It was leased yesterday. B. No, just take the elevator. C. The floors are hardwood. Number 34. Haven't you seen a doctor about your sore wrist yet? A. 
he can see you in just a few minutes. B. I have an appointment tomorrow. C. I haven't completed the list yet. Number 35. How long do you need to finish the report? A. It should take around a week. B. It was very interesting. C. A little more than five feet. Number 36. The weather has been wonderful lately, hasn't it? A. I miss the forecast. B. It's been a nice summer. C. Yes, he's running late again. Number 37. Could you tell me where I can find an outdoor equipment store? A. It seems to be malfunctioning. B. No, please put it inside. C. There's one just down the road. Number 38. Why didn't Leanne give you the message? A. I'll give it to you later. B. She must have forgotten. C. Thank you. What did she say? Number 39. I'm considering hiring a maid. A. No, I've got one. B. You mean you haven't made it? C. Can't you do the cleaning yourself? Number 40. Did Miss Fullerton tell you that the shipment has arrived? A. She is taking a cruise. B. That's news to me. C. I hope she will arrive safely.